this. Hooray! It's Catter Day. The fuck. A A A A, -A, 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 -A. Well, well, welcome back. It's it's D and D night put, again. Uh, we need you to put the funny away, because your funny is not funny. That's fine. It's no, terrible. no, it's not. Yeah. Oh my... So this week, in, uh, this week instead of doing Final Fantasy XIV, we're back with another session of Dungeons and Dragons. Whoa! I'm an idiot. Why did I do agree to do this? Kai <laughs> wants to suffer. Yeah. Speaking of, it was are totally we doing, not my own idea. Speaking of, are we doing D and D again next week? Yes, this okay. is an extra one. I don't get why people don't understand extra session. So we'll be doing three sessions in a row. Yes, because I've been We just I've want to make sure you're not uh, suffering from burnout, that's all. <laughs> Character progression! Yes, the DM offering to do an extra session is totally suffering from burnout. No, we just mm. don't want you to get burnt out. I can't, you're not fast enough. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Wow! We took our time, apparently. I'm pretty sure he, he he expected us to be finished in the mountain already. Oh, hey, I don't look at me. what I'm planning on today happening two weeks ago, so, you know. <laughs> now it's changed because I've had more time to think about it. Good news for me, bad news for you. Eh. Anyway, <laughs> let's get on with this, shall we? Yes. So, last have... session was kind of a bit of a... Boring journey down the tunnel until the end. We almost Where... ran into a group of fire giants. Well, almost. No, no, we no, we took our time it and tried to get the attention of you know, the fuck, or uh, in the path towards the fire giant kingdom. Then maybe we might have, but no. That's no, a good thing because we had two this. dwarves. You've had your first glimpse at where the fire giants live. Yeah. Um, or at least one of the places the fire giants live. It's giving you part of a reference point to work with, and you continued on your journey downwards. And we came this across someone. Unusually straight tunnel. And at the end of the tunnel, there was a strange person waiting. You In have a... no idea who they are. In a giant oval room. What you do know is they seem to have been waiting for real. For some oh, unknown reason. Oh, um, yeah! <laughs> yeah, Arthur uh, upset their friend. Otto got shivved. And, and from uh, Arthur's perspective, all, all, uh, all he thinks is uh, maybe the person was coming on to real. Can, can, can the GM finish, please? Sorry. Sorry. Alright, so yeah, Sato got knifed. The friend... Seems to have been waiting for real. You don't know who they are. They never actually answered the word of their name. But you do have been have been left with a bit of a headache, considering every time they responded to a specific person, they would change which language they were talking to. And Kyan knows too much, but not enough. Yeah, so it's kind of a... You're all kind of a bit got... Bits of a random conversation, and some, but none of these answers seem to be that helpful. Hmm. And then they disappeared, and then reappeared because they had forgotten the thing again. And but it's okay; are... they didn't forget it for this that long this time. Yeah. And, gave and they made, as... Go ahead. and they made everyone turn around. <laughs> Told Cayenne and to fuck off you... in another direction. Yep. Cayenne, you needed to move move away. And then they kissed real and disappeared. On the forehead. Oh, right. We don't know that. You you are now left kind of just awkwardly with your backs to real. Real, I believe, is sitting there with a big fat grin on her face. No. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, if we scroll up, Azrael blushes. Azrael buries her face in her hands. Yeah. So I'm probably not wrong. And... This is where we start. Yay. With you all standing awkwardly, staring at walls or down a tunnel into darkness. Or and specifically staring at a bunch of rocks on or lights on the sides of the walls. Yes. There is a there was something noticeable as you came here, and that was a small glint coming from various spots 
around the... I believe Otto was approach trying to approach one of them when she returned. He's going to continue doing so. I was I went up to the wall and tried to look at what was in the wall. <laughs> so okay. it's just is she gone? She is gone. You are left as a group with no one else but you and you And small glints coming from various spots in this large cavern. Uh that reminds me, where is Elandric? Uh, she's currently staring down the tunnel. Her 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 token's back in the room we were taking a nap in. Oh. Oh, on this map I haven't moved it. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> she's there with you because I don't have a map for the room you're in. Use your imagination. It's a big open cave. It's not quite spherical in shape. It's kind of overly, and there's small little glints coming out from the sides. Oh, that felt good. Mm. Well, what does Thorn see since he went to go examine one of the glints? Yes, please. I, I am just checking my notes. He's not the only one. What the fuck? Thorn was already there. Right, Before so she are returned, you just... I was on my way to one. So, your options are for where they actually are located. They're randomly dotted around some points in the floor, and there's a couple of points, like, up on the wall. Some are obviously too high for you to naturally reach, but there are a couple, like, around about your eye level. I believe I was walking towards a centralized one. Uh... Can you... Can you roll perception? Do we both have to roll perception? You can both roll perception, and it's a, it, uh, it will currently be at disadvantage because of how big oh. the room is. Oh, well, now you tell me. The torchlight doesn't cover the whole room. Great. Well, the lantern light. Yeah, lantern light and torchlight and stuff isn't quite big enough to reach all the room. So... So you head over towards <clears throat> one that the most noticeable one to you at the moment seems to be one just off to the side that seems to be just glinting, picking up the edge of the torchlight if it, at its most outermost limits. So you head over to that one because it's it's a bit more noticeable. It looks a bit brighter. Could be a trick of the light. But it's a good place to start. Cayenne just looks up up for one. A giant one. Cayenne stares at the ceiling. Do I not see one? You can see some slight glints here and there. Hmm. But nothing nothing noticeably different between them. And as are Otto and Foreign going for the same one or different ones? I don't remember. All I remember is you mentioning one in the middle of the room and I was heading to that one. Oh, okay. Okay, so you're heading towards the middle of the room. We'll say Foreign's heading to the wall. Yeah. So, as Otto slowly walks down the oval-shaped ditch of large varieties towards what he spotted, what he thinks he spotted towards the center of the room. Farin, you head over to the wall off to the side to look at the glint. When you get to the wall, you notice <laughs> that the wall has the same texture as the tunnel. Okay. And the glint seems to be coming from some kind of just beneath the surface of the actual wall itself. It's not actually poking. The, whatever it is, it's close enough underneath this glass-like 
sheen that it's still catching the minute there. bits of light, but it is buried in the wall. Okay. Yeah. Strike it as hard as you can with a pickaxe. <laughs> it's got the glass stuff in front of it. So, where are you? Eh. <laughs> oh, he's, he's hitting the wall. Even better, have Zoho punch it. <laughs> I so am not you. that brutal. <laughs> I'm not that much of an ass. I mean, can't Zoho punch the wall? If Zoho sure. wants to punch a wall, Zoho can freely punch a wall. You just need to walk up to one and punch it. And hope it doesn't make your knuckles bleed. Or break his fist. Eh. Meanwhile, Rill's just kind of like standing there, face buried. Trying wow. to deal with the emotional pressure of what's just happened. I will say, wow. A lot of uh, support. Me. As the, as the yep. hammer hits the wall, you hear the sound of its innards compress and whatnot, followed by the cracking as the stone stone you hit starts to crack. This is noticeable, and this large, loud crack is noticed by Eulandric and the others, as it kind of echoes back around the... Ooh, this might not have been a good idea. ...cavern. And Eulandric kind of, like, turns around and she's just like, you could have told me what whoever it was had gone. <laughs> so, he's gone by the way so what you're finding over there as she kind of like looks at far uh, and then glances uh, over to Otto and she's a little uh, I, oh I boy, they're all going <laughs> I gesture her over and just like there's something behind this layer of rock that seems to be shining and I can't quite tell what it is yeah okay okay I'm failing at English. <laughs> okay, Cayenne, I'll have an investigation for you. Yulandrick will come follow, head over towards Farin. <clears throat> Otto, were you carrying a torch or something? Yes. Okay. Or, I... Actually, was I? No, I think we were doing all lantern light. I could light a torch, though. How are you going to light a torch? Yeah, considering everybody's like pointed in odd directions and not helping for me being able to see, yes. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> he needs to be the floor. So. Um, oh, jeez, that's bad. You don't know much about stonework. You can't the kneel down where you saw the reflection. And you okay. kind of like start looking. There's nothing obvious to the to your like in your eyesight. And as you examine it, you what you do notice is there. It's not actually as smooth as you think. Huh. The floor seems to be filled with slight indentations, and there's like certain part which are just aren't enough to have like little ridges like like you're looking at a mountain range from very far away from above you know how you can kind of like tell where the peak is you mean like ridge line on a shark i don't know about sharks it's like straight yes it, it's like striations where like the, the it's it seems smooth at first but it's actually really rough no, no, no. It's not rough. It's still smooth, but, like, they're about, like, a, about a me, like, where you're standing, you're kind of, like, standing in the middle of a slight dip, and you realize there's, like, a edge around, around you that's just slightly poking up, just to form, like, a small enough ridge, and then dips back down. Okay. And you believe this is what was reflecting the light... 
back at you was the light clipping the edges of this ridge. Mm. And it's about a... Success. But you, th there's nothing actually in the stone from what you can see here. <clears throat> uh, so, Otto, as you light your torch, as you approach the center... Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I see where this is going. You notice that um, you light the torch and the torch flares up more brighter than expected. Rather than just lighting with a little bit of effort from a flint and steel it for it to cap the oils and stuff to actually catch a light the first spark that hits it the torch just kind of erupts the whole like the light spreads out like rather than 60 feet being the maximum limit it seems like it like it's more an intense flame and for a brief moment that 60 feet is actually bright light and you notice uh, can you roll another perception, please? Got this it. time with advantage. Yay! Yeah. Here we go. You notice that throughout the whole of this area around you, these ridges that I was describing to Faye seems to be a repeating pattern. Not perfect. But it ca the light as it flares up catches all like all the edges, rigid like little points and imperfections, mm. and you notice that the pattern is kind of like repeating itself, and it seems to be uh, ranging from these like spacing of these like reflective lights are like. The surface of water, like moving water, uh -oh. as the sun catches it, it's like the when you see those patterns at the top of the waves that make it glisten. <laughs> and then, and the torch like kind of like settles down a bit, and you, you notice that there is a strong glow coming from the dead center of the room as it reflects back. Well, I was heading there in the kind of like. Kind of like the North Star in the in a clear night sky, mm. more obvious than the rest. Uh, Baron, yeah. as your Landric comes over to you to see what you're looking at. Shite! <laughs> I feel like I should have hit the, wall. the room lights up. Uh. <clears throat> Why do I feel like there are fire giants? Uh. She walks up, she kind of like examines the <laughs> fractured wall where you've hit it. You idiot, do you not look where you're hitting? What's the matter? What did I do? She grabs your hand, you by the arm, and pushes your hand against the wall. The wall is very hot. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Uh, I immediately step away and, like, shit. <laughs> uh oh. Have you tried using uh, Mending? The, it, it, it's like you sticking your hand on a fully fully going radiator in real life. Uh, There's a slight moment and then your hand starts to feel the burn. Burn. <laughs> uh, you idiot. You could have killed all of us. Fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it. Um, shit. <laughs> ah! Eh. Uh, eh. Uh, ah. Uh. Hold on. Uh, eh. I think Foreign has an idea of what they're 
Uh, <laughs> I, I, I am going to fix this right away. <laughs> uh. As you panic, you kind of like stick your hand on the wall where it's started to fracture. And it's like you're ca like cast mending and you're slowly watching these like seams that you've made slowly pull themselves back together. <laughs> Uh, uh, Considering how deep we are, you didn't read you, you. You, I. She doesn't read. Did I think about it? it no. <laughs> Am I regretting it? Yes. Right. What's real currently doing? And Zoho. Who's next to Cayenne? Who's examining the floor? Very intent. Because in her mind, it's like, hmm, these are divots. So yes, divots. is just standing there Different. keeping watch because everyone else is doing her own thing. Okay, okay. Does Zoho notice what I just did? No. <laughs> it's a bright light. He's like, then just looks at real. Did you hear something? Hey, hey guys, I think I found a light focus. What is that? It seems to be making my light brighter when I'm inside it. Uh, it was only when you lit it Turn briefly. Of, uh, uh, Otto, may I state phrasing? What? Makes your light brighter while you're inside it. Kyan just looks... Yeah, I don't know where you're going with this, man. I like, am not the either... Okay, the last part, sure, I get that. The lighting it up, no. Fine then. Question Can we take it with us? No, it seems to be part of the room. Mm. I'm approaching this one place, though. It looks brighter than the rest. Pretty, I'm pretty sure just all the lights that we were catching were just. These divots in the floor and the walls. I don't know why, but I'm imagining this room to be like a reverse, uh, uh, like it's supposed to be a container, a reverse disco ball. <laughs> oh no, we're inside the disco ball. Whatever shall we no, do? No, 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 no. It's, it's like a, um, oh shoot, what are they called? Uh, the 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 death ray, uh, like an uh medieval death ray. Kind of. I don't get it. Never mind. It's not important. Okay, Real, are you? What what are your current actions after your strange encounter? It's been a minute. Oh, the lock man. for a river. The, the, the rail, rail, right. When you say wanders off, there's kind of like a big empty room. Or the tunnel going back the way you came. So if you're saying wanders off, are you just kind of like going back up the tunnel? Okay, so as no one's pay really paying attention to Rill, Rill's just sort of like, I'm going to go back up the tunnel. Well, they would have gone off the floor at this point. Uh, I would have freaked out a little bit. You're not like, paying attention. No, about the wall, ah. and then, and then be like, "Shit, wait, where's real?" Huh. Like after the fact. Looks like I take. Where'd you go? Ooh. Actually, that's the point. I don't know whether Kaite went with Rail or just start sitting there still. Yeah, what happened to Kaite? Her icon changed. I'll have to find out. No, Rail, uh, Rail just changed the icon. 
Guys, since I have tongues active, does, do I actually understand what Kaite just said? I don't think Kaite is making words, more just sounds of comfort. Fair. She does find it quite comfortable. She can feel the heat coming through the floor. So when my face was close to the floor, I could feel the heat? I, I did the say hate. before, as you came down here, it got warmer. I knew uh, that was coming, yeah. Josh. Well, I meant warmer than being not face first on the floor. If Kaite is currently sitting on the floor, it's kind of like a cat sitting on top of the laptop while it's on. Or uh, heated floor. That is actually kind of funny. Oh, no. Just kiss boss. Careful for right, her danger so. daggers. Sorry. Just continue. So, while Foreign's fixing his mess, Eulandra, kind of impressed, kind of just starts walking away from him, shaking her head. Mm, I kind of deserve it at this point. I think I see something in the middle of this room. I continue to approach. Okay. Elandric becomes the... Why is there now a random token that someone changed something? Where is this? Huh? Are we supposed to be on a new map, by the way? No. <clears throat> okay. There's another map for this area. Okay, so apparently a broken kite told him. Um, so as you head towards the middle of the room, Elandric notices you what you're saying and starts to walk over to you. As you get there, you notice there's a clear, clearly in front of you, there's something sticking up out of the floor. I examine it. It seems to be a large gemstone of some sort. <laughs> Find anything? Damn it! I can't use identif uh, I, uh, identify magic. I already sp I already used that, and freaking healed over. Did you find something? So I was walking over. I didn't mean to click that. Click what? Uh, yes, but I have no idea what it is. Uh, I look for any markings around the gem holding it. It seems to just kind of like, it looks like it's buried in, like, in the floor. Oh, and no. It, it's... It looks like the top of an egg shape, but it's been squished, so it's flatter. <laughs> okay. Uh, I will use my horse brush to brush away the dirt to see if there's any markings nearby. The solid glass-like texture. Oh, really? Be... Okay, there's but, no... Okay, yeah, it's the same... The whole cave is the same kind of deal as what the tunnel is. Um... I motion to, uh... Uh, shoot, what's her tag along this time? I forget her name. Eladric. Eladric. Um, I think we could get this loose. Uh, am I done fixing the wall by this point? Yeah, it only takes a minute or so. You're only fixing cracks that you put in there. Good job you didn't roll higher. <sighs> oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, I, I come down to investigate because now I've actually started paying attention to what everybody else is doing. Everyone kind of like slowly congregates towards the center of the room at their own pace. Uh, can Kaite do a 
investigation. What's that for? What? They <laughs> get it, they're getting cold. Oh. Ah. Hmm. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Can I roll investigation? <clears throat> uh are you actually searching for specific things at this point or? Mm. Are you just looking around? If you're just, just looking like... around, it's perception. Eh, fine. Mm. Is this with it with disadvantage? Uh, are you carrying a torch? No. Yeah. Let's just do regular at this point. There's enough torch light, I think, going around right now. Hmm. Perception. <clears throat> wow. Nope. The only thing you notice is the beckoning of Otto. Zoho just walks over here to see what Otto's found. Uh, Cayenne is asking a question. Ritual cast identify. Uh, you could attempt to before other people get there, seeing as you were closer. I'm not going to do anything because I'm not sure about it yet. Can I investigate the stone? The stone? I have, uh, not the, well, the crystal. I have a hunch. Uh, but I'd have to ask Zoho for something to be sure. Uh, you can wait your turn. Uh, Otto, you Otto, knows better, yeah, Otto knows better than to mess with rocks that he doesn't know because he's not a geologist or anything like that. Hmm. Right. From, from, from the obvious light, it seems to be some kind of orange-colored gemstone. And it looks kind of like the top of a squished egg that's stuck in the floor. And uh, Cayenne starts casting Identify on it as a ritual. I am going to call out to Zoho and ask him to take out the gem we found earlier. You don't need to yell, Thor, and I'm right here. Otto just crosses. Saying, Sorry. Hey, I'm, I'm... He takes out the stone they found by the second land shark and holds it out. Uh, can I compare it to the crystal? Uh, yes. Color's completely different. One's orange, one's blue. The blue one you've got is more of a more of a oh. perfect sphere, uh, sphere spherical kind of shape to it. So it's a ball. It, yeah, it's more round than it seems to be smoother. Can I investigate uh, the crystal? Hmm. No hammer or pickaxe this time. <laughs> yes, please do not hit it. That was out of character. So was that. So was that was my reply. <laughs> mm. Do I have to roll anything, Kai? Uh, I mean, currently somebody is doing something with it, so. I get... All right. So <laughs> currently, Kai's kind of like doing some weird gestures and whatnot while sitting next to it, and. Damn it, muttering the way you some things to themselves. The way you describe it, all I'm thinking of is frigging uh, Girahim from Twilight, from uh, uh, Skyward Sword, just like dancing just around and doing game. some frigging no, stupid you know, dances. No, you know what I what I'm picturing. Uh, uh, I think uh, what was it, Manny, the mummy from Hotel Transylvania, when he was doing the oh Sandstorm yeah. Dance. Uh, <laughs> okay, anyway. So, as you're doing your weird gestures and stuff, your Landra kind of, like, trots on over, and as she does, she pauses. Huh. Hmm. 
and she kind of like foreign you noticed that she kind of like f instead of follow going to the center straight away she kind of like turns and heads slightly off off to the side a bit uh, um, I'm, I'm gonna follow her and vet and investigate what the hell she's doing she does not do stuff like this for nothing Uh, can I see what she's doing? Well, she seems to crouch down. And she, she, she you see her, like, rubbing at, like, the floor with a, brushing the floor with a hand. Kind of like, <clears throat> looks like she's kind of wiping something off. Uh... And then you see us like, get her backpack off and, like, unhitch the pickaxe. Alandric, there isn't rune stones under there, is there? I don't know. I'm about to find out. You're not going to make the same mistake I just did. She ain't dumb. She looks at you. I'm not as stupid as some people. Oh! My response is. And simple. then she swings the pickaxe before. <laughs> <laughs> like. She... Swings the pickaxe into the f floor to ch chip away at it. She makes uh, one swing and she kind of like uses her hand to kind of like pull away fragments and then she swings again. I pull out my pickaxe and join her. Is like, <laughs> you know what? Uh, at least with two of us, it'll be quicker. She then looks at you again. How are you going to swing that pickaxe into this hole if I'm swinging my pickaxe into this little hole? We alternate swings. Once you withdraw the pickaxe, I swing, and then so on and so forth. Unless you think I'm not capable of it. She kind of like, sta she stands up, takes a step back, and just kind of like gestures towards where she started picking. Called tandem hammering. Well, I swing. <laughs> Alright, you swing. You, you, you couple of chips kind of like work into it. And it kind of like starts flaking away. Do you just keep swinging into the broken bits that you're making? Or do you follow what she was doing where she was like swinging? I and then... follow what she was doing. She just stands there and watches you. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Cayenne. What? As you are doing your identify, after the, a couple, like a minute or two, you start feeling a buildup of heat start radiating through your hands. Uh oh. And up your arms. No. Well, shit. No. No. Oh, come on. Otto, uh... get away from Cayenne now. You don't know this, Cayenne. Cayenne, uh, unless Cayenne's actually saying hot, hot, or whatever, then uh, in a panicky way, then this is just. Please don't jump to conclusions Hot based on the descriptions cabs. I'm giving to other people. Hot in all caps usually means panic. Usually yes, but it's we don't know whether they're actually marks. I can't tell whether they're speaking it and meant to be speaking it or whether they're just like doing this in their head. What? If it was doing it in their head, it would be in italics. The, the stone isn't getting hot, but the it, as you <clears throat> identifying it, it, you're getting hot. It's are you? It, so as you're kind of like doing your thing and you got your hands on it and stuff, your hands seem to feel the warmth and it travels, starts traveling up your arm. Warmth, not heat, like burning. Heat. It's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just kind of like comforting. No, not comforting. It's just a. Please don't just explode. A, it's just thing, there. The middle of a it's a middle of a ritual. 
Yeah. They haven't completed it yet. I keep going. So you... <laughs> you keep going with the momentary... Oh, this is not good. So, uh, Diane, but you on? managed to, but you managed to complete the ritual. Am I to assume? I assume all we see is him pause or them them pausing for a bit or something. You don't take any damage. You complete the ritual. You, what you learn from f getting hotter and hotter is. This is not a, necessarily a specific item, but it is an item that contains a lot of mm, powerful magic attuned with fire. This, whatever this is, seems to contain a lot of fire-based magic in it. It's still stuck in the ground. Has anybody noticed what me and Elendric are doing right now? No, because they're all like sitting watching what the hell's going on around them. <laughs> I am. I forget. Do you have the crowbar or do I? You both have crowbars. Uh... Actually, no. I think they took the crowbar from the burglar pack that I grabbed. I don't remember. That's why I'm asking. Oh, that's weird. Right, Rill, uh, can you make a perception check as you're walking back down the tunnel, please? Okay. Um, as you're walking back up the tunnel. You notice <clears throat> ah, it's red. It's red on. Oh, it's rolling off. The, it's rolled off the other sheet. That's why. She still got the other sheet open. I'm guessing. Um. I I did it through the token thing. Oh, yeah, because your token's still attached to the old sheet. That's fine. When we get to new map, it'll, I'll put the new to token on. So it'll be linked to the correct one. That's Including not a problem. Mighty token? Uh, when it comes to the Kaite token, when you click on Kaite and you go into edit... I think you uploaded it to the avatar picture rather than the token. So I f there should be a upload button next to the token bit beneath the avatar pic upload. Next to where all the like new buttons are for the token stuff. I think that's I I, I think that's what might be going on. Unless you can't see that upload button, and then I'll have to go and get the picture myself. I, uh... So I does Kyan let us know? <laughs> okay. So... Yeah, there you go. Seems to have got all got all the properties and stuff. Uh, and I just realized I put it on a different layer. Uh, realizing it's probably jammed, I uh, motion to a landrick and go. Uh, would this suffice to uh, remove the stone? And I pull out a piton and a hammer from my burglar's pack. Uh, I plan on using it like a chisel. Chisel away the rock. Oh, if you found one too, then why don't you just use the pick you brought? I made you pick up before. Because I want to be more accurate about removing it. It has no. a lot of power, apparently. Yes, 
We try to hit it in any ways, that magic might end up rebounding. And we know that from experience. I'll be back, she says to Far, and then she starts walking over to Otto. Um, Rel, you're heading up the tunnel, and as you pass the get start, get to the point where you're resting, or what appears to be the point you're resting, you notice something is different in the wall here. I think you can see my ping. Uh, in fact, it'd probably be easier if I just... Because yeah. I think you can see it yourself. Now I've opened up the... Unblocked the view! <laughs> So, how you're not in this tunnel? Um, all of our tokens are in the same tunnel as that. Yes, but you're not there yet. You're currently in the room with the okay. with the stones, gemstones. So, um, as you Landric heads over to Ward's Auto, far and you, you you manage to find. An orange gemstone in your hole. Oh. It's about the size of a golf ball. I pop it out and examine it. Is this what I'm looking for? You don't know. Elandric's gone to see what the hell the others are doing. Can I investigate it? Uh can you can try do it. okay so roll investigation is what you're telling me yeah you get the advantage because you're stone cunning eh. mm. crap uh, work with me mouse and i am oh wait <laughs> hey woohoo He's over 20. Uh, for 9,000. Uh, ah. Oh, that was fake. I've returned. Ah. Uh, going to my notes. Give me a moment. It seems to be some kind of topaz gem. So... Is there anything else in the hole? No, oh, that's it. And a bunch of shots. Uh, I'm going to go over to Atlantic and ask her if this is what we're looking for. So you're, you, you head on over towards the center of the group. As you Landrick gets to the center of the group... Oh, she, she sounds happy for once. Hmm? That's a little big. <laughs> Kayate comes over to sniff. Oh. I pocket the stone so Kayate doesn't steal it. <laughs> yeah, but what did she come over to? Uh, I don't That's care. That's the point. She did she get which, which? There's two places. <laughs> I pocket it anyways, regardless. I'd, I'd assume it's the fire one, because she likes the fires. Kaiti narrows my Okay, a little one. Uh, uh, I simply stare back. It's like... Uh, uh, no, Kaiti, you're not getting it. So, But, if you behave, I'll give you some food later. Yelandric, sounding quite happy, just looks at Otto and goes, Come on, we're faster then. I, 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 I pull out the piton and hammer and start chiseling away at the edges to make sure I don't strike the, uh, the stone itself. Okay, and with sticky fingers, just ready to lift it 
<clears throat> for freak's sakes. She then kind of like looks at the rest of the group. Go and find the others then. This is like a jackpot. <laughs> I'll go find Rill then. Just don't break the walls that go to the lava it, that's it, flowing it, behind it, them. It, it, uh, uh, like that idiot uh, over there. Uh, 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 Otto just lifts his head. Lava? What? She kind of like. Have fun. <clears throat> oh, yes. Uh, uh, Cayenne, come back. What? Also, Ew, also where, technically, it's magma because it's underground, but yeah. Wait. Just to make sure we don't get lost again. Uh... Right, yours, yours last. Holy yours freaking last crap. <clears throat> taps his, he taps two fingers against Cayenne's forehead. Text. Speak it, speaker am I? Can you hear me? Yes. This thing on. Good. Auto, <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> I'll go find Rill and bring her back here. Let me know of any uh, developments. Also, so uh, as you look. <laughs> Oh, not using a torch. You you just see into the darkness right. and actually see the floor. Oh, neat. Yes. So heads down the tunnel. Nerd. Okay, so New Landrix now telling everyone to go find the rest of them because there's more. There's got to be more down here. She seems to be happy, but she seems to be getting awfully bossy. And then she turns over to fire. Oh, you got one. Okay, cool. Go find another one. <laughs> she uh, has out of character. She's become the mine foreman at a mine. I, I, I look at her. We're, keep, we're keeping this big one. She glares at you. Look, we don't know the size of what you lost, so it could be a tiny E1 for all we know. I'm here to get what I need to get. I just so shake I... my head. Eladric, if there are plenty here, let them at least have that one, then they won't want any of the others. That depends on how many others you find. Uh... We'll make we'll come to some bargain at the end, but for now any finds are currently claiming is mine. Uh, and then I gesture a little to let Kayate. Don't let her see any of them if you find them then, as you will never get them back. I hope you're saying that in Draconic. Uh, I'm saying that in Dwarvish. You're dumbass! She can hear Dude! that! <sighs> you also don't even know if Kaite understands Dwarvish. Oh my god. Oh gosh. <sighs> <laughs> Your Yul Landrix just is looking at Far and it's like, you fucking idiot. <laughs> Get to work, <sighs> all of you. I'm going to need everyone except for Zoho and Rill to make a investigation with uh, advantage. What do you, oh, mean, thank you God. mean without me? Because I'm still working on the big one. I have. I need Kaite. Rill and Zoho are currently up the tunnel, so. Wait, they are, wait, Kaite went with Zoho? No, I need a check from Kaite because Zoho and Rill are up the tunnel. Kaite uh. isn't. Okay. I got confused. <laughs> oh. Eight. I, I, the I'm, rolls I'm going... are strong today. I know, I'm, right? <laughs> I'm going back to I'm going back to the sheet for the lulls. Well, it, well, actually, I'm rolling this one for the lulls, and Ikai gets to see it, but it's going to do absolutely fuck all. You nope. say that? Nope, it was still that... shit. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we got Farin, we got Kaite, we've got Cayenne, I've got Elandra. Arthur is currently dealing with the one in the middle. Uh, so, Farin, you find two more spots. I'm just going to mine them out right away. 
Kayate and Cayenne, you find one each. Neat. Hmm. I think I could see And Eulandrix finds three more spots, so that is... Uh, two, three, four... Seven. Seven, Seven. plus the big one, plus the one you're hiding in your pocket. Nine. So eight plus one big one. Nine, 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 nine. Do I, I have to check the ceiling? It's very high up. <laughs> also, the lava is up there in the in there. I'm sorry, but unless you can walk up walls, I don't think we're getting any on the ceiling. You no, the, did, you did know it, there's it, lava behind the did wall. It, you hit. Did it? Did it? Did it? Up the wall. <laughs> uh, I I holler at Cayenne. Don't you dare. There is lava behind those walls. Yeah, and I can feel it on my feet. Do you want to kill us all, Cayenne? Please don't. I'm just checking. God. Damn, man, chill. Right. Cayenne, roll an investigation as you go up the wall. With a torch. <laughs> With a torch in your mouth. Well, if I leave my stuff on, on the floor, I can just walk up. Uh, and then you just hold the torch sideways. Investigation. Good, it's on all again. Please, for the love of God. Woo! Okay. As you're walking up the wall, mm -hmm. you notice that one of the pat as you're getting closer, to as you're going up, you realize that it's getting a bit warmer. Mm. Oh no! He and you re you you realize that you can just about make out through the substance movement on the other side, mm. and you kind of feel like a weird sensation coming through the wall. Concerning. I gently just start moving back. <laughs> you kind of like shimmy across to the side to it, so and it kind of starts getting cooler. I, I just come back, put on my boots, and like, yeah, uh, that's definitely hotter up there, and I definitely felt a presence. You also notice. Mm. that there is a more consistent pattern to the ridges as you go up the wall. <clears throat> uh, where's my little draw tool? Okay, well, I'm going to relay that to the group. Hang on, hang on. When I get back. I'm still up the see, wall. See how good my mouse drawing is? Yeah, as soon as I can find where you're drawing. Why do I feel like... Oh, no, I'm in the wrong tool, that's why. Why do I feel like the top of it is, like, shaped like, uh, as if it it molded around like a grenade? Oh, it probably did. Like, one, one of those, uh, fragmentation grenades. Or like the scales of a dragon or something. I don't know. Yeah, that My mouse like drawing is terrible. That totally look, looks like scales of a dragon. Oh, jeez. It's not a... It's not a perfect... tessellation, but it all kind of seems to tessellate together in the rough pattern. Uh... As divots or as bumps like a cobblestone? The 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 lines I draw are like the various bits that poke out a bit. Okay, well, so that... all of all of the circles inside are divots. Yep. Okay. Well that's def well that's definitely uh not a footprint, so uh This seems to be like across the entire surface of this cave. As you've noticed it going up the wall, because, like, as you're climbing, you notice there's, like, better footholding places here. Like, little 
lips that aren't quite enough to grip onto with your hands, but enough to like game purchase on to push yourself up. Okay. And then as you climb back down and start walking across the floor, you realize that it kind of follows the curve down as it gets into the dip in the middle of the room. Mm. Mm, I don't like that. You Landry kind of looks over towards you what you're doing. It's like, what are you doing? Get to work. I'm going to look at her and say, yeah, you know these, these tiny ass div it's in the floor? Those get big. Or going up. And be, and have more ridges on them. It's also warmer. Can I do another investigation? Uh, what are you trying to investigate? The floor. Uh... Or more. No, I already told you the floor. It's a continuous pattern the whole way around. Okay. You notice after you climbed up and realized this pattern, you notice that the ridges on the floor, you're going kind of up, down. You go as you're walking up, it's like you go up a bit, down a bit, up a bit, down a bit, up a bit, down a bit. Oh, no, I meant for the stones. They're probably coming from a different direction. The stones? Yes. He's looking for more. The stones, stones are just kind of like scattered in the wall. Hmm. Like, there's hmm. a couple of them. You you found. With your investigation checks you've already done, you found like a total of eight different okay. places. Okay. Come on, get on with it. Do I roll another investigation to see if I can find some more? No, no, no. I'm just having everyone roll once to get a number. Well, I already rolled, so. Yep. So the total is eight. I as you if... dig them, as you spend the. An... The, let's say about an hour total because they're not actually that deep there for the ones. They range in size from like golf balls to uh, what's the other thing I'm thinking of? Uh, golf soft, balls. Softball? Baseball? Softball. No, a bit bigger. A bit well, bigger. I don't know how well, big it, it goes. Golf, lacrosse ball. It, I'm not sure what size that. Lawn bowling ball, cricket bowling ball. When you say bowling, are you talking ten pin bowling or the other bowling? Uh, ten. the one where you can actually hold the ball in the palm of your hand instead of that one. Your... Yeah, okay. Ten pin, yeah. Not the ten pin one, the other one. Ten pin has the three holes in the ball. Yeah. Yeah, and they're a lot bigger. They're big, as big as your head. I'm talking about the ones that Turb's on about. Yeah, I... It, I they're, they're a bit bigger than your hand. Yes. Just a slight bit bigger, but you can hold it in the palm. And they all seem to have, like, the same... Relatively same orange shade to them as you get them out. Well, since it's been a while, I try and wedge the gem out with the piton by uh, putting the end of it underneath the stone and wedging it open. I need you to make a strength check. Okay. Or an athletics. Uh, I should probably say. That well, that's a saving throw. Now you tell me. Oh, it's a saving throw? Yeah, well, that was the wrong thing entirely anyway. Whoops. Aha! Okay, so after digging around it as best you can, and you think you've got to the bit which kind of like seems to curve underneath it, you kind of like lever it. You end up like wedging your tool in and then stand like standing on it to use your body weight, and it kind of like slowly slowly breaks away from the remaining bit of this like glassy rock substance, whatever I was calling it. Landric, I've got it loose. Good, give it here. There you go. This thing is, this one is more, like I said, it's like an egg that's been squished side on. So 
So the big orange one is. Oh, that was terrible. <laughs> Let's try that again. Don't we have a circle tool? Yes, but it's not. It's an egg shape that's been squished, so it's more like that. It's a bit rough around the edges. It's not perfectly smooth. Like, its texture is smooth, but the shape of it isn't perfectly smooth. It's roughly egg shape that's been squashed. Okay. And it's about the size of your head. <laughs> about the size of Otto's head? Yes, your head. Oh, gosh. This would be perfect. If we can get out of here. You sure you've got that? Now, now, let's get them all together. What's everyone else got? Um. Uh, what happened? He's ca calling everybody together to see the spoils. She, well, I'm currently she working wants... on. Well, I'm currently working on the one Kaite found. Cause, and because. It's Kite, because Kaite doesn't have a pick. Auto rolled a nat 20 athletics. Yeah, I wedged out the uh, the gem the rest of the way. Oh. By standing on the piton. <laughs> <laughs> Your weight. Sometimes it's picked to be a big boy. So she's called gather gets everyone to gather up once they seem to like finish and she it's all sort of like she wants everyone to kinda of like put them in there. Put them together in the like in a pile so she can examine all of them. Sorry, in and a big pile of yellow gems? Orange gems. Orange um, gems. I say big pile. It's not really that big of a pile. Oh, like... Almighty Shedron, I summon you! There are nine of them there, so that kind of too many. Could You don't know that. You don't know. It could be a different type of dragon. Well, if we can get out of this, this is... This... This is good for me. Um, I I stopped Kaite and I'm like, Kaite, we'll get in trouble if she doesn't keep them. I promise, I promise you would make armor, and we have mithril to do that. You'll have something pretty to play with later. I would like to point out that this is probably more than what she lost, especially with the big one. Otto just smiles happily that he was able to help. Kaite bristles and snorts out smoke. I know, but I have to keep my word. Please. You see, like, um, Elandric now is going to spend some time just sort of like, she pulls out, like, some equipment to inspect them with, you like know, a, like, no, like a jeweler's eye or something? Yeah, like jeweler's eye and stuff. She seems to be, like, looking for, like, like all the imperfections and Let's... trying to figure out how what the quality of them are. <laughs> it's um... safe to assume this is what she wants. <laughs> <laughs> I, I look around. Where's Zoho and Rill? Shouldn't they have come back by now? Oh, ah, uh, shit! It's been an hour. In, in in all the mix up, I didn't even know this. They were gone. I did. Zoho left, and well, I told him hey, after. Uh, when we found the amount we did, how many we found, but I don't think I can message him again, because last time, time we did this, I could only talk to him for an hour. And then we sat there, waiting for him to get back. Oh, he's out of range for his ability at this point. Range. <laughs> the range is ten times his level. So, 50 feet. Yes. On the other hand, oh. Cayenne can reach out to him. Uh, yeah, I yeah I could have, but it would have only lasted. Uh, it won't. Right. It only would have lasted uh, an hour. 
five minutes. Mm. Right. Can I speak, please? Yes. Yes. Right. So, Rel, on your, as I was mentioning before, on your way up to back up the tunnel, you spot after near to where you kind of camped out on the opposite side, you notice a defect in the wall on the opposite side that you didn't notice on the way. Just a little further up the tunnel from where your campsite was. You know it's the campsite because you can... There's the slight ashy smoky smell. Stonework itself seems to be similar to the stonework that you broke through before. We hear you snacking, boy. Meh. I'm dealing with real. So. Real, as you inspect the wall, you realize it's uh, a lot thinner, similar to what you broke through before when you found the cave, leading towards the where you spotted the fire giants. It's on the same side as the wall that you broke before and you also recall Elandric talking about well if that's their city then presuming this tunnel's running in the directions after Boren actually let know they had a compass then the old city should be like parallel if one of the directions, this might be one of a tunnel that leads you there, based on a bit of assumptions. Eh. So. Too prod. Ding, ding. It feels it feels like some weird combination of glass and stone. <laughs> Would you like to smack the rock? Ooh. You hit the rock with your quarter staff. There's a bit of reverb coming through this quarter staff, but there's also a slight ringing sound come from the rock. So ho, you you, you will get to the rockers and find real smacking the rock with a quarter staff. Uh. Hello? Hello. Oh, man. I have a mouse's speaker's died or his lost words. Mouse, you find Rill smacking the rock with her quarter staff. Uh -oh. I think his Discord's done a thing. Yep. Uh, Mouse has also disappeared from Roll20. Uh-oh. 
Oh, no. Please excuse us. We are currently exp experiencing technical difficulties. Oh, wait, uh, by we, we mean mouse. That's... That's your mouse. Loho somehow managed to get lost in a straight tunnel. He came from the other... He came from the other direction. Meh. Meh. Ah, he has a voice again. Congratulations. Did you hear any of what I said? As he goes silent again. Mm. Hello? Mass? I'm going to say let's take a quick break. Yeah, maybe. Uh, we could if Terp was around. Well, yeah, but we don't have to swap the screen. I mean, we could, like, literally only one of us needs to be here while Mouse tries to fix it and then Terp shows up. Yeah. So I'll be right back. I need the bathroom. Well, it's fine. Eulandric can spend the time needed inspecting. And then she starts, like, Putting things in her backpack. You mean, you mean like her tools? No, I mean like everything. Uh, no. Eh. There we go. I don't know why internet's deciding to act up. Uh, uh, because uh, the internet loves everybody. Anyways, I heard up to. Bunk wall with staff. Yes, yeah, Soho finds Rill smacking the wall. Rill, with her what staff. are you doing? Why are you. Here, what? He looks around curiously, trying to. Do you want to see what's on the other side of the wall? As she hits the wall, it kind of has a slight ringing to it, like she's banging on like glassware. Hmm. 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 Let me try. <sighs> Zoho walks up to the of the wall, cracks his knuckles. Slaps him with his hammer. Pulls back a punch and lets it fly. To hit the wall. It feels like punching really thick glass. Zoho, take five bludgeoning damage. Ah. I'm back. I'm also seeing damage rolls. What's going on? That they're, they're trying to break through a wall uh, with fists. Yeah, without a hammer. But didn't you bring your pickaxes with you? Did everyone bring pickaxes? Yes. Yeah, everybody has a pickaxe pick while they're on this journey, unless you left it behind. <laughs> no, I picked up a pickaxe. As far as I know, everybody did. Okay. Yeah. Punch against not gonna work. So it takes out the pickaxe. Uh, how do I swing? You don't oh, need I... to. If you're going to start using a pickaxe, you can. It will start chipping away at the wall. Chip, yeah, chipping away at the wall. 
a bit at a time. So you're going to spend a bit of time there trying to break through this. Right, so, as I was saying, Elandric starts gathering things up into her backpack. And Kain's like, what are you doing? Putting these in my backpack. You sure so you could carry, carry them on out your own? Again? Yes. As long as it fits in the backpack. All right. And she kind of like starts loading up the small ones first. And then as she like the backpack gets full, she kind of like realizes she can't get the big one in there. Mm. Eh, guess I'll have to carry this one. Ah, good. Great. And even... In more diff... Escort mission. Not not in game. Because <laughs> now she's carrying something. Yes, now she's carrying a, a in, bunch of gemstones in her backpack. Yeah, that could, also ex- hand. that could also explode. She's also keeping the big one, unless you didn't notice. Yeah. She's also, yeah, and if she tries to fuck and keep all of them, Kyan's gonna grab her and go like, no. You're not keeping all of them, because we don't... Uh, I'll I'll save it for when we get out of here. Good. No, no, I was explaining to Josh, not... I'm like, that kind of be like, you did say we would split it, and I'm pretty sure that big one constitutes way more than the other or ones. Yeah, this one's uh this one's the biggest one I think I've found. Yeah. Yeah. And wouldn't it be simpler for you if you take the big one and we all just put a single one in each of our backpacks? Then you'll be able to carry the load. Well, considering his backpack's full of all, don't think he's carrying anymore. I mean, I could carry a little bit extra if you want. So could I. Keep keep, keep in mind, every time he says this, he's not trying to get it from her. He's Roll just trying to, He's just trying to be helpful. There is actually n- n- not like he's not. Roll a persuasion. Yeah. Roll a per- Oh shit! I got, I got no bonuses. <laughs> I have a plus. I have a plus seven. <laughs> I still roll high though. Good. Lucky. Uh, yeah. Well, that you is... are a bigger chap. You would probably carry this easier for me. Though I will take it back when we find find a way out of here. Sounds good. And he just his his grin is from ear to ear because he he likes being helpful. Helpful for bulk is helpful. What's Are you this? meaning to do this? Yeah. I'm typing it. By the way, are you trying to put it in your backpack, Otto? Uh, or are you just the, going to carry what, it? Well, uh, she's grabbing the big one and we're grabbing the small ones, right? No, she hands you the big one. Oh. Uh, well, I tie... That a... backpack's already got the little ones in. Yeah. Uh, I tie a rope around it and uh, sling it over my shoulder. Makeshift net, okay. Okay, I'm good. 
Okay, so after gathering them up, you start heading back up to the tunnel. During which time you will have to change a torch. Because one of your to your next whatever torch you've got is going to run out. Or I could just or I can just tap auto with this. I mean I'm You still always... already he already lit the torch. Yeah, I did already light a torch. You could tap me on with that afterwards. Fine. I only lit the torch because I couldn't see everybody was pointing away with their lan with their lanterns. Well, that and it's a pretty big room. Yeah. Either way, it's going to cost you one torch. Uh, yeah, that's right. I need to remove. And you head back up the tunnel, hopefully reuniting with your other companions. You, you will find... Hacking away at... Hacking, hacking away, away at a wall. The hole's pretty... Like, you've managed to successfully break through while they've been walking back. You're at this point, you're just kind of like mining away to get it big enough to actually pass Tipping through away your the cells. To make it passable. Yeah. So you broke through, and now you're kind of like at the point where it's like, okay, we just need a bit bigger so we can squeeze through. You... Is there a path on the other side? Did you... Yes. Did you guys okay, make good. sure there wasn't any lava on the other side before trying this? Z Zoho turns to Otto. If there was lava on the other side, both myself and Azarel would have been incinerated by now. That's my point. You didn't try putting your hand to the wall first. Uh, tell that to Azarel. She was the one who was hitting the wall first. Uh, all, all right. And molten... Isn't molten rock, like, not a fast liquid? Uh, depends on how hot it is, actually. It's faster than people expect. It is. It is much faster than people expect. No, I, I trust you. I just want to make sure you're safe. That's all. When she was striking the rock, it was making a ringing sound. Okay. Oh, that's a good, that's a, that's a good uh, point of reference. If it didn't make a ringing sound, that would have meant there was something behind it. I'd, I'd imagine if there was something soft behind it, it would make a dull thud, right? Mm. No. If there's any empty space behind, uh, behind the glass, it would ring as there's space to cause a reverberation. A yes. Yeah, but if it's liquid rock, not an empty hole... We don't need to go into a detailed yeah. explanation of how magma yeah. and lava and all <laughs> anyways, that flow. Anyways, we've been at it while you were... I take it you found some more runestones. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pla Elandric plans to keep the large one as well as the small ones. Be, be, That's why well, we're here, yeah. to help well, me it... recoup losses. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this Elandric is our client. Do not forget that. Uh, Josh, also... Sh Go ahead. Uh, I also just shrug at this comment. Client, yes, on my part. You all got dragged into this, and we're trying to help Rill at the same time. I yes, understand... And Sorry. Gone. No, you. You were going. I, un I understand, Thorin. However... Eh? as she is your client, and you are a member of our party, that makes her our client as well. Mm. We are members of Guild, after all. Shrugs. I can't stop Cayenne if she wishes to do something or Kayate. Zoho shoots Cayenne a look. What are you trying... What are you attempting? <clears throat> well, the fact... Well, the fact of... We don't know how many she lost to to supposedly his dad and according to her the big one is the biggest one she's found so I'm pretty sure that would constitute the entirety of what she's lost but then again I'm not sure but that definitely has a lot of magic stored in it Cayenne can we can we put a pin on these negotiations until we return back to the surface and in safety Yes, and I would like you to try touching the big one like you did with the small one. No. 
I prefer Why? not to blow up. Did we wait till we're outside as well for that? Because that sounds like a recipe for problems in here. I didn't say hit it. I didn't say hit it either. Plus, yeah. with my if, plus with my elemental affinity, pro, and given the color of it, it's most likely nothing will happen if I touch it. Yeah, and yeah, and we know that according to the Masir, is elf girl. All that poofs from the area. That the small. One's supposedly part of a person. I just want to know a bit more detail because there was also something swimming in the seal wing of the of the giant oval room. Swimming. Uh, that's what it felt like. So it was either I was feeling the flow of mag, uh, or there's a creature living in these walls. Let's not dwell on what ifs and let's just keep going so that we don't accidentally run into what you think you saw or you felt. I agree. The longer the longer we spend down here, the more or we invite possible uh what's the word? Obstacles. Agreed? Agreed. Yes. All right, then. Okay. He points to the hole in the wall. Let's try going down this tunnel. See where it leads us. I still ha have the dark vision that Cayenne gave me. I don't know how long it's been. Uh, about an hour? Maybe two? I'm not sure. I don't know much about magic. I can tell you this. Which mine's not going to go out anytime soon, and I'm probably going to need to do it for auto, so... Uh. Mm. You'll find out when. All right, then. When it ends. All in favor of heading down the new tunnel, Aetheril and I, Doug? Sure. It's better than going down the end, the never-ending tunnel for three days. I mean, everything else has led us to dead ends or other things that we'd rather not go towards, so yeah, anything's Ooh, better. I'm in a noose. All right, then. We have all decided to go down through the tunnel in the wall. Okay. Clearly it's over here somewhere. I have so. no idea. <laughs> You 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 finish my like digging out and wide enough for people to squeeze through. Yeah. Okay. I was right. <laughs> and you start heading down the new tunnel. Woo. Oh. Go. Oh. See. Yep. Wait. Should have said that. Fuck. Poor. Oh. Okay. Oh my gosh, that's it. That's all this map is. Yep. <laughs> uh, what wow. light source is? What? When did you last light your lantern? That is the question. Well, uh, they had it was, my, it was my lantern last time. I didn't relight it because I put it out after. Or Thorin thought it was someone big, or than a tiny elf. And I had a torch, but it went out, and I was given dark vision. I can relight my torch, my uh, lamp, but this will be the last time I'll be able to light it. So everyone's going to be traveling in darkness if you just let that to last torch burn out. So I'll light has dark vision. I'll light my lamp. Uh... I darkness. still have one extra... I still have one extra oil flask, so you don't yeah. need to. But Josh, darkness is fun. It's still hard to see. You can only see in grayscale if it's I'm darkness. Being, I'm being sarcastic. 
Eh. I just try and cal all I'm trying to do is calculate whether you go through multiple lanterns or torches or whatnot that's required. Well, well, if going from our resting place to to the elf was an hour, Kyan still has five five hours left in her land. Right. So it's about an hour to uh, from the resting place. It's about an hour or so to where you were. You spent an hour working there, and then it's an hour back. So from your last rest, it's about three hours. Okay. Well, it's three. Three to four hours, somewhere between there. Right, so if I'm starting it up here, then there's still five hours, because I never turned it back on. Okay, so five hours left on the lantern. That's okay. Uh... I made a terrible job of my notes. It's like trying to translate a foreign language. Why'd you write in mm. French? Animas! Damn, Moonspeak! Oh, gosh. Before, before anybody uh, hangs me or puts me to the stake, that was a reference to DBZ Abridged. Hmm. Right. So, you're going to be traveling down this tunnel for three hours. Okay, great. Soho still has his dark vision. Yeah. So you travel down this tunnel. It's fair. It's fairly narrow, and gets quite tight in parts. It seems to range from about, like, on average, it's about between 10 15 feet wide but at some parts you have to kind of like squeeze through as it narrows all the way down mm. to like just a like two three feet across but it's there's enough room to like s side your way through uh... and it starts to open out a bit I'm in danger. <laughs> and if you give me a moment. I have a new map. Oh shit. <laughs> For where you come out. I add a character. I'm looking at the dark vision components. Either a pinch of dried carrot or an agate. Right, so who currently has dark vision, Faye? Because you've been... I do. Every everyone at this point, unless Kaite does not. But I'm not going to do it on Kaite. Because there's not really any point, and I still have uh, two hours left on the lantern. Yeah, you'll have two hours left on the lantern when you come out here. Kaite doesn't need it. I don't know that. I don't She's know what elf. Kaite has. She's an elf. Kaite, Kaite. Kaite. Kaite is not Azarel. I said that bad that. We're a mess. Mm. It's fun. Why being a mess means we take our time. I got a mess. Yeah, it's gonna give me a moment because I need to update tokens with the correct vision. Because <laughs> someone decided to cast dark vision on everybody. <laughs> everybody. 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 Yes, because we're running low on. Wait, what? Yeah, you still have hundreds of torches, because also I was hoarding a bunch of torches. <laughs> I thought he was down to like three. I gave him like half of mine. I still have six. Uh, I think I jumped in here at 20. Auto, that's who I'm missing. Definitely buying more when I get out. Uh. I would like to point out, I was told that some one was nearing the end, and I gave them whatever torches I had. I don't know who it was, but it wasn't me. Okay. 
Oh, uh... Might have been Josh, because he was running out of uh, oil, and he didn't have torches. I have torches. That's a point, but sure. I think we go into too many little things too often at this point in time. Yeah. Here we go. I think that's everybody. Seriously? And you follow the tunnel out as it widens oh. into another spacious area. Oh, just room big. Oh, no. Uh, I'm going to keep stepping forward. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Here we go. <sighs> I think you can see that now. I can only see Josh. <clears throat> I'm currently just watching, waiting for the stream delay to see your, so I can see your point of view at this point in time. Am I allowed to look? Or ah, like, okay. Am I allowed to look to the left and right of myself at least? You no, no, it, uh... it's fine. Just go slow. I was just checking things were correct layers and whatnot. Hmm. <laughs> My perspective looks different because I have color code. Oh, uh, what? What the hell is that? Hmm? That's a what building. Is... I have wandered slightly over uh... and up instead of to the right. That there is, is a... Uh, stop moving, then. <laughs> I agree. What is that? I kind of said I just kept wa like moving forward slowly. This is as far as I got. I can't tell if there's anything else there right now. So like, as you... <laughs> as you walk into this open space, you notice actual work stone. Stop Coming it. to your sight line ahead of you. Uh, I see something oh. up ahead, everyone. Looks like a I'm building. I'm going to continue forward and investigate also. <laughs> Can I tell what it is at this point? You, 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 hear, you hear a sound. Uh-oh. Oh uh, shit. Thorn. Zoho whispers Thorn. And what, just puts what? a finger to his lips. Where is Zoho? Behind you. I have this feeling we are not alone in here. We must be careful. Oh god. And <laughs> somebody lit somebody lit a torch. Shit. I, as you're walking, you notice a light from the uh, top of this building. That's a dwarf. And there's this figure uh, looking over the ridge. Torch in hand. <clears throat> Do I recognize this? Who person? goes there? As he looks, he seems to be searching into the... He's looking around. Oh, we're just travelers. Oh, no. Idiot. <laughs> Otto steps forward. Oh, no. We're just trying am... to get back to the Dwarven City. Do you know which direction that is? You don't I'm look like a dwarf. I am don't know what you're talking about. Step into the light now. Eh. Is, is this proof enough? I mean, to him, he doesn't know. Oh, God. This is no huge. entry into the city. You shouldn't be here. Uh... Lady Alondric. Zoho looks around. We might uh -oh. need some assistance. 
What do you mean assistance? They're not letting us through the gate anymore. There shouldn't be anyone in the old city. Who are you? Exactly. Be gone. Uh, excuse me, good sir, but we have permission to enter the old city right now. No one has permission to enter the old city. Be gone. Not even those who have permission from the law keeper. Don't care about no law keeper. You're not from Baradur, you're not a, are you? You're, you're not actually a guardsman, are you? What? You're uh, not a guard, Otto. are you? What are you talking about, Otto? I cut Otto and Zoho off with a gesture. Do you work with my father, Grimbear? Never heard that name. Kyan, you might want to stop. I'm trying to I'm trying to go around so I can get up the wall. Yeah, but I need you to stop because Damn. I need to keep track of everything for a second. Damn it. Uh then I decide to press the uh the conversation. Then if there is no authority over the old city, then why are you stopping us from entering? What gives you the right to do so? This is our place. Who's Ours. us? None of your business. No one should be here. First thing I've seen in days. Oh, I'm not Bumps. in range, never mind. Gonna Maybe. be honest, Otto is had job. enough talking. He walks forwards. As he Okay, you go uh, right, listening. hang on. Uh I'm on the wrong layer. So you start walking forward, yeah? Yep. Okay. As you start walking forward. Uh, I'm still on the wrong layer. Flames erupt in front here. Whoosh! Flames st start quickly flicker and erupt from the floor. 20 foot high. Just as you're just in front of you. I said... No one comes into our town. Neat. And I asked you on whose authority. If you're not willing to ask that, answer that, we have a problem. Yeah, especially... He says with a little edge. Yeah, especially when we don't know how to get back Guard. to Baradur. Uh, Otto. Otto. Oh, stop. There's something in the doorway. Hmm? The authority is mine. If it is you know. alone, then you have no authority. The old city you can't can... actually see the person, by the way, because of the wall of fire, but you hear the voice. To whom are we speaking to? To who am I speaking to? People lost You're there in a tunnel. trespass on my terrain. Uh, people lost in a tunnel. Seems like a pity. Yeah, and so far, you're, you're... I'm going to step over to where I can get a better view of this person. You can't. There's a wall of fire. That's a wall of fire. Yeah, but I'm... What? Cayenne. What? Let Thorn do the talking. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. That's Kaite. I'm just going to examine the wall. Uh, I step up as close it's as I dare wall. to the flames without stepping into them. Okay. And uh, I decide instead of continuing to be rude 
I give a short, curt bow, and I say, I am Thorin Ironsbane, son of Grimbor Ironsbane, and I am seeking the old city. As to why, my business is my own. However, if you were willing to speak, I may be able, willing to tell you why. Do I have to roll a persuasion no, now? Just, I, 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 I'm just going for my notes. Mm -hmm. Notes great. always take a moment. I can't Did tell I... if that's a dwarf or something else. Doesn't matter. Can't see it it doesn't matter if, for the time being. It's probably safe bet that it's a dwarf. Safe bet. Oh. Right. No, wait. <laughs> Woo. Oh, there uh... it is. And uh, now I need to find my new thread because I have organization. Are you having problems? Your stuff takes time. No, no, no. I, I, I moved stuff around to keep organized, so... Here's the things don't happen in order, so I don't have everything open. That would be silly. That would be a lot of notes. Yeah. Uh, 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 pictures and things as well. Ah, oh, that's sorry. the button I wanted. That makes it easier. Please don't try anything real. I want to do this peacefully. Would you like to add media to the original post? What? Oh, that's what that meant. Okay, so under the uh, new DAD <laughs> stuff. Oh, no. The flames uh, part uh, way. I, I hold up a finger. We will get there. But please, let me try to be peaceful. We won't have an issue, any problems. We have to fight our way through if we just be patient. I promise. Brute so, force will not open all doors. No. Okay, uh, now's not the time to talk to amongst yourselves. So, the flame, after your little speech, the flames part way, and you can actually see the person standing in front of you. Uh, it is a dwarf I... with red hair. Oh, fuck. Black clothes and what appears to be tar smeared across their face. Sorry, toss what across her face? Tar. tar. What appears to be some, like, tar smeared across her face. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I have introduced myself. So who am I speaking to? So that I might address them by title. And respectfully so. You're not the one I thought you were. You mean I'm not my father? Your father. I suppose there's a resemblance. I may not be as old as he is and lacks the white that he has in his hair and his beard, but I do very much look like my father, I'm told. Thank you, Mouse. There we go. What brings you here? I seek my Is father. Is it on his behalf? I shake my head. I thought he was dead, and then I am told he wanders in the mountains now. I seek him to find the truth of what's going on. So not on his behalf. <laughs> so you do not so you're not going to bring what he promised to us. And what would that be? I'm just going to point out you're like hiding around. Yeah, the you're corner. hiding. If I may, Fair. if Fair I point. may speak, I am called Zoho of the Order of the Even Hand. May I, may I inquire as to what Thorn's father promised to bring to you? 
That is our business, not yours. May I inquire as to why he was to provide you with rune stones? Rune stones? That's a leap mm. of logic. Well, he brought trade. Uh, he claimed to have information we wanted. Perhaps we, we are currently know... waiting to vet it. He also stated he'll bring us something to prove his claims true. I stroke my beard. What perhaps is this information is? We might already know it. If you knew about it, you know about it. Hmm. We can't uh, exactly just tell anyone we meet. I decide to press forward. Uh, would it perhaps have to do with an arch, a gate specifically made of adamantine? No. Hmm. Why are you prying? Oh my god. You while they're having a conversation, just side sidles over to Cayenne, seeing as you're closest. Hmm. This probably isn't good news. Yeah, I know. It's probably the cultists. Why cultists? The cultists. They're always causing trouble. I gently put my hand on her shoulder her and do the mind link thing. Explain! The cultists. They're in search of something that used to be under the mountain. Give me They're like a heart. Like, give me like a heart? Or something kind worse. Of. Something worse than. Possibly, uh, I'm going to assume whatever. Or real yep, something. Yeah, I died. Oh no. No. She doesn't realize you're speaking in her head, so she's still whispering to you. Yeah, yeah. And, <laughs> it's yeah, like, and, and she's as she's still whispering to me. I'm just gonna, as in normal tone, you do not realize I'm connected to your mind, and you could just speak to me through that, right? Hmm. Well, anyway. <laughs> The cultists <laughs> tend to cause problems. They want to get the old city back. They want to claim it back from the giants because they think it all belongs to us. And they'll do pretty much anything they can. And their motto is kind of fight fire with fire. So, in other, so in other words, it's kill on sight? In other words, if you don't want to be roasted on a spit, I suggest we just play cool for now. Neat. Uh, Neat. Can that... hear... You can't hear any of that. <laughs> Neat. That, that sending still goes. That sending still goes off, Kai. What sending? Uh, no. uh, I said you. Were... Oh, I didn't see that one. Yeah. Yeah. So you get that. Well, someone gets that. So what? Uh, that, that, that's nothing. It's just pff, nothing there. You tried. You tried the library before. It didn't. No, I oh, tried. No, the you tried the law keeper. Yeah, I tried the libra the librarian this time. If I'm not getting anything through, I'm called. I'm gonna need that talk. I'm gonna need to ask you questions after this, man. Because you, you you get a static picture of fuzz. Like uh -oh. a bad TV reception. But that's not how the spell works. Mm. Yes, but She's... it's the you know that annoying noise that that static screen makes. Yeah, so you're telling me it's coming through, but for some odd reason theirs isn't. How? It, it it's like the it's like your radio waves are fucked. I okay. think, out of character, I think Kai is trying to prevent you from doing sending. I think. No, not necessarily. No, something's not necessarily. caused. Something that's near that we're in the 
area of is preventing divination. The magic stones. Or or evocation. Ma magic Messaging. interference. It wouldn't be the it wouldn't be the stones. Alright. Hmm. So if you're not here on heart behalf of your father, why are you here again? And no, we won't be answering your questions, because you're clearly not one of us. Unless you would like to be initiated. I mean, I, uh... hearing that, I'm going... To, I would like to connect to the... Learn and go, no, 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 cultist. Uh, would I know that they're, they're cultists? I'm going to ask this now. No, you haven't really been. You, ha you don't live in this town. You've only visited. You don't know about the cultists. Uh, perhaps if you were to get, let us talk first before we do anything and give it some thoughts. I cannot speak for all in our party. It's quite simple. As a dwarf, you either want what is your rightfully yours back, or you're one of those who has given up. Shit, so if I say no, this is automatic combat. <gasps> uh... Thorn. Uh, hold on. I'm thinking before I make a response here. Because I want to do this right. Uh, hmm. I respond. But I am not from Baradur or this mountain. Neither is my father. Therefore, I have no idea what this may be. Unless it pertains to the old war between the fire giants. In which case... Uh, I neither know enough nor am well enough informed to uh, speak on this. So you're a poor lost soul. Oh, this is going to get bad. <laughs> and you wander into our home. Why would we help you if you are not willing to help us? To help you, I would. We know could offer would... you a deal of some sort, like we did with your father. I'm listening. But first, we need to know why you are here. To put it simply. My father stole rune stones from, and I gesture at Elendric, and she wishes to recruit that loss, or I end up paying for my father's crime. The rune he stones were rune family stones. heirloom. That is correct. From her. From her clan. And I have been tasked with either collecting more or finding my father. So have you found more? Unfortunately, no. We were hoping that we'd be able to find the old city and find any that were still unmined around it. Okay, I need you to roll deception. <laughs> Fuck's sake. I am no longer visible, so you can't use line of sight with the thing that I have on my shoulder. Oh. Fuck! Oh. <laughs> I nat one. Wait, this she she doesn't no. believe what you're saying. Deception. 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 He's that. trying to lie to her. Uh, I, she I don't that. think I I have a feeling you may have failed this one. Oh boy. Uh. <laughs> Isn't someone able to help me at this point? Not really. The one that's good at the steps is being on the other side of the wall to get the fucker up here if it's if combat starts. I uh, think you're lying to me. I think you found some. 
We found something, but as to whether it's a runestone or not, I sure Solo glances over at Thorin. Hmm. But remain silent. I seek to finish the task that I have been assigned, regardless of whether you think I am lying or not. More or not just for the crime that my father committed, but also, <laughs> but also for the fact that my father faked his own death. Is is acting like she's digging a hole? <laughs> oh God. Yeah, this is digging a hole, hole into solid ground. <laughs> well, she's well, she's looking for she's looking. Well, she drops down if she sees him coming this way with the light. So, and she's acting like she's trying to no, find no, like no. soft dirt. Well, I think you did find rune stones, and if you did. We might offer you trade. You're clearly really... far from home. You have no idea where you are. Clearly. I raise an eyebrow. What would you trade if we did have runestones? That depends on whether you have what we, the kind we want. Or the value. We're... We're open to fair trade. I don't believe you. <laughs> That's not I don't in think character. Anybody does. That's not in character. I'm just stuck. I, I know, but I don't think anybody does. We could offer you food. We could offer you direction. If you have that of value, then we might just openly trade. And we'll pretend like you didn't come here. Hmm. The old city is what we seek, however. Not just trade. Should we... Should we provide something of sufficient value? Would that grant us access to the old city? Hmm. You could say it's a toll. Hmm. I stroke my beard. Why do you want to enter the old city if you're only here for runestones and already found them? We're following a tale. A tale involving four adventurers who came, came into Old Barrider a long time ago. My god. Zoho. Zoho. Uh, you he, talk he, of the traitors. Traitors? What the... Okay, now we... What do you we mean by traitors? <sighs> Aren't you like uh, 40 feet up the wall, dude? No. No, they came down said... after they got spotted. Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, as soon as, uh, yeah, as, soon as she, she saw the light coming, she, dro she drops and then pretend like she was trying to dig a hole to go to the bathroom. Okay. Uh, I interject. It was a tale we were we heard, and while we were down here, we were curious enough to wonder if there was any truth to it. Tales have a way of being mostly lies, perhaps with some truth to them. That plus her. In the year, the old city was the best way of getting out of the mountain. Ah. Uh. Two different stories. Hmm. No, Two. we're deaf. No, we're deaf. I think partly here because of the store. Because it's also... Oh, hmm. If there's a way way into the old city, that means there's a way out of the mountain. The are ways out came... of the mountain from here. Oops. Oh, neat. The runestones came first. As they were near the old city, we decided to... If we came across the old city while we're looking for the rune stones, that we would look. And as for getting back out, the tunnels above collapsed due to some kind of tremors. I'm assuming land sharks caused them, but we can't go back the way we came. 
And so it seems the only way forward now is through the old city. So you are very lost. So you mm. want... We will not help you find anything related to a traitor, but maybe we could give you direction for in depending on what you can offer. If if we think it is of value to us, I will happily let you walk through my territory. It's a good thing Otto took that freaking stone. Out of character, by the way. <laughs> hmm. Soho takes out the lightning stone and holds it up. No! Oh, for... Well, Rel said that out loud. This is this is done. Rel, Nico, Mountain Heart! Mm. Rel! Uh, da, da, da. And that's not his to give, so... So, you get out the stone, yeah? Do you know what this is? Hang on. Uh, where's my... Ah, shit. Okay. Uh, so as track. you hold out the stone, this is the the moonstone, yeah? That the one that's, you had. The, that's the, the lightning smoke... stone we found in the lion shark's gullet. The, I'm, ca I'm gonna call it the smoke stone. Right, I Where... need Zoho to make a dexterity save. Uh, they're automatically gonna try and take it. Uh, let me see. I have proficiency in that saving throw. Yeah, it's a saving throw, so you just roll a save. Just normal. Yeah. 16. So... What's this? Right, so you are going to take four fire damage. As she, as she sees you hold this stone out in front of you, she immediately stamps her foot on the floor. Fire rages across towards you. As you quickly kind of like jump to the side, you side just step. get... It, it just ca catch it just about only just ca catches you a little. Uh, you threaten okay. me with the tools of the traitor. So you do know what this is. Well, okay, that's it. Uh, I'm the sorry. The one who forsake taken the way. Ah, good. And assisted the other three. Other three, you state. Okay. Oh, Wait, what's with the red? Uh oh. Can uh -oh, I be... what? You were making an hourglass. No, that was that. No, that was him. That yeah. was Kai. That's the DM. Oh, that was me because I had the tall equip still. Oh, uh... I, I, I just needed to check if you were in range. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I'm sorry, but I am. Fucking, I am done. Eh. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what? I, I just automatically react to the fire, it's like, the fuck, and just shoot. I'm sorry, the fuck? She, she glares at Far and it's like, don't be hasty. You then don't no. want to start a war with me. Mm. Mm. I lower the crossbow. Do that again, and I won't be so patient. You come seeking our help, and you want passage through my town, and you think you it is good to threaten me? You I think... was not threatening you. I, I merely really... asked you what it was. We found it I... in a land shark's gullet after we it's... killed it. I it is a toll of a traitor. We didn't know we what it was. We have another. Hmm? Another? 
Yes, we have another. We want rid of it. But we can't trust others. A proposition. We don't know who chooses us and who is against us nowadays. Uh, I, I hold up feeling all too well. I hold up a hand to stop Zoho from saying anything. You wish to get rid of it. We wish to be gone from this mountain. I think that is more than fair trade. We will we... never return to this place if we leave. Yes, we get rid of it. You never see us again. But that would not be wise of us. We don't gain anything in return for this, knowingly. We, You may go and use it against us. Hmm. I have no interest in your quarrel or any in this mountain. To simply get back out into the sunlight and leave this behind would make me very happy. Not to mention, I have power, but I would rather not use it for malicious intent. I am not here to start a war. If possible, I would like to avoid it at all times. Well, war is inevitable. But unless you can provide us with the stone that your father promised, then I don't see how we can trade anything to you. What? And are there any specifics to this stone that his father promised you? What it looks like? The size? The color? He said he knew where he could find a great pa powerful fire rune. Oh, great. But he has not returned. It's Why possible that he is dead. By any chance. Or he changed his mind and fled while he had the chance. Zoho looks over at Thorin. He knows, knows what runestone she's talking about. Of course, but we're not going to say anything. <laughs> and it's currently not visible, so... Yeah. So. I suggest you put that away firstly, pointing at the stone Zoho has. Done. Zoho puts it in the fold of his robe and crosses his arms. It was not my intent. I must. I extend my apologies. It was not my intention to threaten you. I, uh, look at the dwarf. Give me a sec while I, sp a minute to speak to my companions. And then a decision will be made. Uh. I step over to Elandric. And I gesture everybody over, including Rill. She stands in the doorway watching you. Uh it's clear the the, the guard the, the her guard companion watches you from the top of the Zoho whispers to the others. It's clear they want the large rune stone we just found. I say we give it to them. I, I say, I say we fuck off cause cause according to Elandric. These are cultists that act a lot like how Rill does, but will go to extremes. They will restart the war with the fire giants. I look at both of what them. What would you have us do? Fight them? I look at both of them. If it gains us entry to the city and the stone from the traitor, there may be a chance we can undo this mess before it begins from the inside. Otherwise, we will have to fight our way into the city. 
as I doubt they will have left any of the entrances unprotected. Not to mention, I don't think we have the... No I'm not sure how many others are in there aside from Ur and her guardsmen. We might be fighting an uphill battle, one we might not win. We have no information on their forces, no information on their numbers, their positions, their strategies. Nothing. I look Why at Zoho. take that risk? <laughs> I look at Elandric. Are you willing to give up the large stone? Or are you going to uh, run? Either way, I wouldn't blame you. I am willing to not die. Mm. These people I... are crazy. If you don't give them what they want, they may kill you regardless. Considering I... this one here already upset them. It was not my intention. How was I supposed to know uh, that particular stone would have set them off? I did not know. No one said a thing. If you're talking, I raised... about, if you're talking <laughs> about me, it sounded like we were about to fight them. I was going to take the one up top. I raised an eyebrow. That, that is the same thing, Kyan. Oh, lovely, a name. <gasps> uh, I look over my shoulder to see what Rill's doing. Uh, I don't know if she, I can see her. She, she's standing there suddenly. Uh... I make a gesture. They won't let us leave without marking our where we go and following us, or perhaps attacking us outright. She can. So she thinks I lied. So it's let's best. just so let's just give them what they want and be on our way. Otto, what did you? He stops. Where's Otto? Don't don't worry about that. We could just we could just give them one of the smaller ones. No. We give her what she asked for. Giving her a small one will only get us directions. We need or possibly get us killed. So that's hmm. not the one she wants. Yeah, and I'm good at lying. Cayenne, I don't think we should risk it. We should not. Because we don't know how many more of them are inside the doorway to the old city. Exactly. The land jerk. What are the chances that they're just going to kill us anyways if we give them the big one? If we give them the big one, we may be able to gain their favor if it's big enough. It's okay. the biggest one I've ever seen. Great. <sighs> uh, who had it, by the way? Was it Otto? Otto currently has it. Stop. <gasps> I'm hiding it for a reason. Uh, Where on earth is he? He has to be behind the stone pillar over there. <laughs> I am just going to go and get it now. I am done playing the game. And I'm, sure I'm not going to. Right, so Rill, as you're having a staring competition. Oh, God. He's not here. I get the feeling he is trying to hide. Where is he? Uh. Mm. What? Thorn, I found him. N no, we don't see him. Ah. You, you realize that this guy's self is basically like putting on a mask in a different outfit, right? It doesn't camouflage you. <laughs> There's no hide. Turp, it's the other one. No, no, I know. They're looking f They're... My teammates are looking for for me. Well, that's the only other pillar in the room. And... Oh, no. Are you behind that pillar? <laughs> Zoho is just staring blankly at the pillar, waiting for a response. I'm gonna pull out the hammer. I'm like literally right there. Yeah, but I you're. You, I thought you used the invisibility. I have not used the invisibility yet. I'm standing behind the pillar, keeping the pillar between me and those two. Uh, I look right at Otto. We need the stone. If we don't give them something, they're going to attack us. You sure that's a great idea? No, it's not. No, it's our best chance. Uh, 
We don't have a choice in this, Otto. I beg to differ. We can always leave. It's not exactly like it's necessary for us to come here. Okay. Okay. And spend uh, another few days wandering aimlessly through the tunnels. I'd rather that than chance an encounter with these people. We have no idea what their numbers are, and we'd be walking straight into their encampment. Uh, I gesture to Otto. They've already marked us. They will follow us and take it anyways and kill us while we sleep. They're cultists. Stop being foolish. You think they'll just let us leave? You think they'll just let us leave even if we do give them the stone? If we show uh, we are valuable to them, they're just going to take advantage of that. Would you prefer to die in your sleep or know that the knife is there? Who says they can follow us? I shake what my head. What are you getting at, Otto? They know this mountain better than we do. You really think they would just let us go that quickly? I think not. The dwarf over there already thinks I'm lying. You really think she'll let us There's leave no after that? discernible echoes to taping. What? To tapping. Oh. Rill, Rill is being patient. Because I asked nicely. Uh, I, I look at Otto. Fine. But the earliest chance, if this thing goes south, I'm going elsewhere. Uh, I don't blame you. If things don't go right, then I think it's... Oh, I think it's best that we start a fight rather than submit. Do you want me to do the negotiating, or... like She you... won't negotiate with you. I'm it going... seems like she'll only deal with a dwarf. Which yeah. means it's all on you, Thorin. Yeah, uh, uh, just since I've already cast it, uh, what limit do I have on Disguise Self anyways? Like, I can only make myself shorter, or can I actually... You okay. can give yourself a false appearance. Okay. But it only gives appearance if you change, like, make yourself look fatter than if someone was to poke your belly, their hand would go through it until your actual belly is hit. Shorter, but as stout as I am large. And also, you know, cosmetically change. So different clothes, you, different... You can make it look like you are a different person. So you as a furball could make yourself look like technically foreign is what you could make yourself look look like. That's still within reason. But if someone was to say, like, pat foreign on the head, they would probably poke like punch you in the face before they manage yes, to get something. I get that. Head I get that. I'm going to make myself as short as I don't know, Zoho or or somewhere between Zoho and, and Thorin. You but, want to be normal height. Yeah, normal height, <laughs> but like still just as thick so that people don't bump into the other me. Zoho is five foot ten. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> uh I hold up my hand. Uh be ready and have spells and attack you some of your attacks ready in case this goes south. But don't look like you're ready. I'm giving them the stone, but I'm staying here. Okay. Well I take the stone and pr proceed. Uh actually I'll wait. I take the stone and then I look at Zoho and Cayenne. Are you ready? Mm. As I use two bone. Is action in to get back to sorcery points? Yes. All right. I step back out to where I was before. Is this what you seek? Uh, you got the big stone, yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The big orange stone. Ah, so you choose to join us. No, we choose to get that. In uh, place of I your choose... father. I choose to trade passage through the old city and that's whatever it is you wish to dispose of. Nothing more, nothing less. Once I'm gone, me and my companions will not return.
Zoho just silently crosses his arms. Well, if you let me inspect it first, we'll see if it's valuable enough for all that you request. I gesture here in the open. And then I hand over the stone. She quickly takes the stone out of your hands. She grasps it tightly. She looks at you dead in the eyes. A grin across her face. Seems the son is more reliable than the father. I can feel the power just by holding it. Have we struck an accord? I say, you can take what we don't want, and I'll grant you passage, or at least to the other part of city, the city, but then you'll be on your own. I shrug, that is what we desire. If you are to return, though. We may not be so friendly. I understand. We won't. <laughs> after you. No, after you. She gestures for you and your group to go forward. Uh, okay. Otto, come on. Uh... I step around her. I'm assuming that's the door. Yeah, that, that, that that's a huge gateway. The whole uh, oh, are you saying that out loud, by the way, Ro? Or is it a mumbling? Please mumble. That's not how real semi mumble. <laughs> and I'm assuming it's in common or commonish. Or broken common. Because if it's in Alvin or something, she's not gonna understand what you say. Or draconic. That's also a language she has. Common. The heart of the mountain is lost. Look, looks at my, looks at the notes that I took because she kept mentioning oh, the heart of the mountain and it would have been on the piece of paper. Okay, the fact that she has stepped further away has now made me suspicious. No, it's me correcting the fact that I said, suggested you go first, so she'll follow you. Hmm. All right. Well, through the gate we go. I'm staying within ten feet of the woman. So I can sense if she does any bullshit. So you Dang. enter the gate and you walk through. There is a large portcullis above you. Holy sh! Yeah, we would not have made it through. If and we hadn't as you uh, as you step like past it, and she passes it, and it's behind you. She, you just hear her call out. Close the gate. It just quickly drops and locks into place. Is she on the outside? No, you're all on the inside. Okay. But you can't really go back now. Don't worry. Keep moving. Hmm. There's a well, actual... This is actually a tunnel, but it's like actually stoneworked. You will enter the city at the once we enter he, leave here, and then we'll. I will send someone to bring the other, 
and meet us at the other side. Seems fair enough. Hmm. Sure. Yes. Of course. I proceed to cautiously step <laughs> or not cautiously, step forward with my hands on my belt. Right, so you follow the tunnel for its length and come out the other side. The other side has a, another tower on, like, similar kind of thing on the other side. Tower off to the one side and another portcullis. And it opens out into a similar cave to the town buried uh, that you arrived in. With, like, you see little spots of reflective light kind of, like, shining down from the ceiling. Giving a very faint light to the surroundings. Off to the one side, you see a couple of other dwarves, like, around some kind of, like, makeshift fire, having a chat. She calls over to them, and they quickly, like, stand up and come over. She gives them orders, like, sends one off to go fetch the item, hands the stone that you've handed her, telling them to go, telling them they know where they should be. And has the third one, like, accompany her. And... She gestures for you guys to keep walking, and as you start walking through town, she, like you see, all the dwarves seem that you come like pops all all seem to be wearing similar kind of clothing as one another. Hey, guy! If you didn't have this awkward introduction, you may have thought this was just a little group of dwarves living in the old town where they shouldn't be. Okay. Hey, Kai. Yep. So, yeah. Again, I'm going to reiterate that uh, on that single piece of paper, we were able to get of information in from the librarian. Does, yes. any, does anything match up to whatever Rill was looking for? Like, directions-wise to the heart of the mountain. Oh, you mean based on the directions and stuff? Yes. Because Cayenne, well, cause Cayenne would have tried to get down points of note if there were any other than a lot. Well, along with uh, general directions. Well, the directions that Rill got was describing how to get there from the outside of the mountain. Uh, from okay. a different point. Okay, and the start point was basically where she was at. The start point for that in relation to her, I'm not sure how much of this information you had, but it's a good reminder for Zyka if she's for and like the Where it mentions they entered the mountain is what Real remembers as being a familiar place to where she was like kicked out. Right, right. That's the part I was remembering. I thought it was detailing that it was getting closer to where she was kicked out, not where it started. Yeah. So, okay. presumably, going through the old city would have some access to wherever that place is. Okay. For the time being, you spend, like, an hour it takes to kind of like go from through just like it's like a little little town rather than a the whole city and she directs you to another gate similar to the one that you came through and she looks at you and as a group it's like wait here 
We'll wait for them to bring the item. And then once you pass through this gate, you'll have to make your own way. For now, we only occupy this part of town. There is much more to the city the further you go. Hmm. And how much of the old city have you explored? The old city? I think about half at this point. Hmm. It is much more grand than the records show. At least in its size. It seems the library in Baradur leaves out much. They leave out a lot. They cannot be trusted. They weave lies into the other dwarves that live there happily now. Most don't know the truth. And what of the truth do they not know? We could teach you if you join us. Hmm. Teach you of the might of ancient Berida. Hmm. I shake my head. Ugh. I've had enough of the mountains. As much as I appreciate the scale and the grandeur of the city and everything that I've seen, it's just not for me. Uh, you're referring to a normal barrier that you've been through? Uh, I'm referring to everything I've seen, including what I've seen in the old city so far. And the hypocrisy. Between here and between Barrider and here. How nobody trusts anybody. Hmm. Nobody trusts anybody. It's like this shit going down here and nobody knows. Yeah, and since nobody trusts anybody, no, no shit is getting done either. Welcome to politics. Uh-huh. Hmm. Anyway. You awkwardly, like, wait and wait being watched. And after a short while, the dwarf that she sent off before comes back with a with a sack out the same about this. It's a regular sack. It doesn't seem to. It has something in it, but it doesn't look like that big. Uh, I guess I'll take it and put it in my pack for I'll now. I'll take it because I'm. You the can't one fit it in your pack. Your pack is filled with all. Yeah, I I yeah. take it because I'm the one who gave the stone in the first place and a headspace. Right. This should make us even. I take a look I at know the bag. I'd... Now remember, don't return. Unless you would like to know the truth. She looks so foreign. I great, uh, I gracefully acknowledge the offer and say, if I change my mind, I will return. Well, if I change my mind, it might be safe. <laughs> I'd take a look inside the bag. But if you step beyond that gate... And don't take my offer. I would not guarantee it. I I would not. And if you were to return with this item we have given you and break our trust, the flames will consume you. I thank you for your hospitality and your offer. I wish you the best in your endeavors. I bow and I walk out the gate. Everyone else following foreign. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll take yeah, a look getting... at the bag later. Yeah, I'm slowly getting the fuck out of Dodge. So you head out. You you head into another tunnel that has a portcullis in it at the end. 
and as you get like halfway through and the portal is you your sight, you just hear the prang as it falls and echoes back down the tunnel. And you continue out the other side into another area of what seems to be the old city. At any point, is anyone going to look in the back? Yes. Uh, I am going to look in the bag once we get into a building with one, no prying yeah. eyes. Yeah, once we get once we get far enough away from all of them, mm. them being the cultists. Okay. In which case, I'm going to leave it here as you exit the into the another part of town mm. of the old city. All right. All right, folks, that's us for tonight. We'll see you guys again next week on Saturday for some more D&D to follow up on this uh, cliffhanger as to what's in the bag, what's in the bag. Uh, and we'll see you guys again tomorrow for some more Raft. We'll see you guys then. It's a bag of coal.